finishing up over there. I primarily do want herring today, just because I want to do some recipes and stuff. Can we hit? Um, so that's what we're going for for the most part. And then I just caught a few of these little tiny, I think they're smelt. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these little guys for some bait on a circle hook on my big rod, hoping for something a little bit larger. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna get the sabiki rig going for some more herring. So that's what we're gonna be shooting with. If I pick something up, I will certainly uh, let the camera know. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sure you've already seen that intro from another video, but I just wanted to get us jump started into the catch portion of today's catch and cook video. So as you can see, the majority of my day was just spent like this, standing out on the dock, catching little smelt. You'll see in a second, I'll do a little sped up version of uh, the majority of my jigging for this day. So after I loaded up the cooler full of smelt, I headed back to the kitchen for today's cook portion, which I think you guys are gonna be really excited. We even got a uh, little sample of uh, my girlfriend Zoe doing a taste test for us. So uh, I'm looking forward to showing you guys that too. Stick around and I'll see you in the kitchen. Hey guys, I'm just taking a quick pause from the action to ask you if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I make all the content myself and I love making this stuff for you guys. And I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you could help me along that journey, it would be greatly appreciated. Back to the content. Okay, we are now back in the kitchen getting ready to cook our smelt. We are just here off camera. Uh, I'm going to get a pan onto the stovetop, heating up. Uh, we'll get that started in a couple minutes here, but first I'm going to go through some of the processing, uh, how I'm going to gut and butterfly these fish before I fry them up. I'll include a little timestamp so you can skip ahead of the gutting part if you want to see that, uh, but we'll go ahead and jump right into the processing now. Okay, so here we have your typical smelt. Still have ink on my hands from the octopus. Doesn't come off very easily, sorry about that. Um, this is on the smaller side of the ones that I got today. I got a few bigger ones, but basically what we're gonna start by doing is I'm gonna start by just coming up underneath this fin here. These guys are ice cold coming up from behind this fin here and basically just cutting off the head like this. Once I have the head off, it exposes uh, the gut cavity there. I'm gonna slide my knife straight down the belly section here, opening it up. I'm gonna remove these guts and they should all come out in one move, just like that. Once I have the guts out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife, follow along the backbone here all the way down to the tail, opening it up. Now I'm gonna choose either the left or the right side of the backbone to break through. Basically, when I say break through, I'm just cutting through the ribs here, but I'm being careful to try not to cut all the way through the meat. So I've done that side, and I'm gonna come back in onto this side and remove the spine right here down the middle, opening it up just like that. And then I sort of pull my knife in to get the spine itself out. And that should all come out like that. Boom, spine is out. All right, so I'm gonna open them up. I'm just gonna scrape away some of this darker meat here inside the belly cavity because it's probably not something that we want to eat. I don't think smaller fish like this really have parasites. I know mackerel do, but smelt I haven't heard much about. So once we have that, that'll be your butterfly smelt. I'll probably also remove the scales, so coming at it with the back of a knife just like this to remove all the scales, and then I will come back to you once I've completed all the smelt that we have.
All right, so we got the final result. This is Zoe. You can't see her face because I blurred it, but she's gonna be tasting the fish. She's not a fish lover, um, so if she likes it, it is a, a testament uh, to my ability to make good fish. This is your first time ever eating smelt? Yes. Okay, I would go for that little one. This one? It's probably very crispy. Okay. Is this skin? No. Oh. It's the fish. That's just a very particularly small one. That's the entire fish. Can you believe that? Verdict? It's good. All right, let me give it a go. Mmm. Very tasty fish. I've had it before. This is the first time I fried it like this. It's pretty good. Definitely recommend. All right. Thank you for watching.